Hello Retro Community! Today I want to show you my latest achievement for my little microcomputer, the Kim One Clone Pal One. I, it is fully equipped with every RAM and ROM card and more I.O. ports and whatever. And now look at this beautiful Raspberry Pi on top. What did I do? Well, on the operating system of the Raspberry Pi is a bare metal terminal emulator. That means it's it has no underlying operating system. It's just a terminal emulator, which um, translates the serial signal of my PAL-1 into an HDMI signal, which can be used by any large screen, small screen that is capable of HDMI. And of course, you, I added a keyboard. This is this one, it's a wireless keyboard. And I show you how this works. Let's turn it on. Other on, Tuck. Take a look at the screen and bam, it's there. You see, it's already there and so you see, I can travel through the memory of my Kim. I go to address zero. Basic is already loaded. So I start basic with a capital G, please. Ta da! And here we are. This is okay. Now, the funny thing with this PI GFX, here you see it on the large normal monitor is it can display colors and it is capable of uh, some graphics so basic graphics it can load sprites it can draw on the screen like rectangles lines circles triangles whatever you want and um, it uses terminal codes right here you send an escape sign and then um, some some cryptic letters and it draws something so now i show you how this works we are already here in basic the program is typed in and i type rom no rom and tick, 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 tick. this is how your old computer your really old computer that has only text output via serial is able to have graphics. So this is a graphics card for my pal. Bam, that's it. The only thing that was not so easy was um, the um, level shifter, which translates the plus five volt, minus five volts onto the TLL levels for the Pi one, which is um, 3.3 volts and zero volts was, um, well, miserably wired on this level shifter and I had to turn around, transmit and send. Here you see it. But now it works like a charm. The SD card has to be a rather old SD card and it needs to be partitioned to one gigabyte maximum. So now let's test what we can do else with this graphic cards. Maybe the next demo <laughs> will be some sprites moving across the screen or something. So have a nice time. Bye bye. See you.